memes. What are they? Where do they come from? And how are they actually pronounced? We went down to the base stock to find out just this very thing. There's a young buck up the corner on Tinder. Looks like he just got some bad news. Not exactly a sold out show tonight. The cheap seats still haven't been filled. But there's a good crowd of lads waiting around for their lifts at home nonetheless. This lad here is tapping out a sick beat. Very pleased with that performance. The MC for the night looked a bit wound up before the big moment. He's added up to here with this topic of conversation. It's clearly tearing his cult apart. He even looks a bit blue over the whole thing. He looks like a lad who wears a suit to bed. Little do the crowd know, he's in his pyjamas. This lad got up then and gave the crowd a good so laugh. Is a, an image, but you know, a piece of text that's typically, like, typically humorous in nature and is you know, spread over the internet. But uh, basically it's the fucking herpes of the internet. <laughs> yeah, here, look. Fuck this shit. <laughs> well, folks, you can't argue with that. An opinion that was well taught, informed and clearly not coming from a woman who feels marginalised in the Irish comedy scene. I wanted to find out more about memes, so I went to the one man that I knew who would have enough time to take out of his busy schedule to talk to us about such a pressing issue. So I'm here with Dylan Kyo, SU President. Uh, Dylan, what can you tell me about the memes crisis? Well, there's, there's actually a big history of the, uh, of the memes crisis. They started off back in the day in Romans and Greeks, and the black and white, first of all. So if you're colorblind, you're in a bit of bother, and they're silent, so they can get away with a lot of stuff. Wait, wait, wait a second. You're talking about mimes. Yeah, huh? You're talking about mimes. No, we're talking. About, we're meant to be talking about memes. You're talking about mimes. How can you call yourself a man of the people if if you think mimes are not only a threat but they're still in fashion? Um. So I was always interested in betting. I always had a passion for it and the free speech and the conversation it evokes. But in DCU, there wasn't a baiting society in my first year, which was a real downfall for a DCU, I thought. So in my second year, I set up the DCU debating society along with my, uh, my friend Pierce. So we set up the society to really evoke free speech and just discussion within DCU. And like, I don't get to do too much debating myself, but like, I facilitate it and like, I try and you know, push that as much as possible within DCU. Uh, James, have you ever been the victim of a meme yourself? No, I haven't. I found this just outside the Henry Grattan building, where apparently debate stock chairperson Seamus Cummins is saying, cash me outside, how about that? Was it childish of the person to actually make this meme? Well, that's just not up for debate. Paul Dwyer, DCU TV News.